just going to show you the details of the Alpine Ultra half bag. Half bags are such a good piece of equipment. They were used a great deal uh, in alpine climbing back in the day and PhD introduced, reintroduced half bags a few years ago and we they've become very popular again. They're such a clever piece of kit but there's quite a lot of detail in them that is worth knowing and having a closer look at. So I'm just going to look at the Alpine Ultra half bag with you here. This is mine. It's the one I carry with me. Um, I have to label my stuff sacks so that I can uh, remember what's in them and quickly grab them. But uh, that I can carry that on the hill and it's a very small piece of equipment for a sleeping bag. It's very, very useful and a great piece of kit to just carry just in case. I'll take it out. So this is the Alpine Ultra. Put that down there. And I'll allow it to loft a little bit. There we go. So it just take a little while with all as with all down bags, just needs time now to loft. But you can see how small it packs down, and it's a very light piece of kit. Um, all right, I'll have a look at it with you. The idea of a half bag, of course, is that it just covers the lower half. We've made a very simple design here. We find that the, the less features you have, the better the performance. Uh, keep it very simple and you don't get complications. So it's a simple half bag and the idea is it comes up, it comes up halfway uh, up your front to your tummy really. And um, the idea is that it, it comes to about here. So you get inside it, it comes to about here. The back of the bag is higher so that if you are sit, it's all right when you're lying, but if you sit up and you want the bag, you don't want the bag co coming down as you sit up if you're making a brew or something. You want it to keep you properly covered around your kidneys, around the back <coughs> of your waist there. So it's shaped to come a little bit higher up the back, a bit like a drop tail on a jacket. It's the reverse, it goes up over your back. And then it cinches down around, around your waist. It's just with a cord, so it, it just simply, uh, the cord simply cinches it in over the top of your jacket. And that's how you use it. Simple piece of kit. Now, half bags, of course, were designed really as a bivvy situation, for bivvying. Um, but they do so much more than that. They're really useful piece of kit. I'll run through the details. This half bag, the Alpine Ultra, is made in ultra shell fabric. That's a water resistant fabric, permanently waterproof, uh, water resistant, sorry. It doesn't have, it, it does have in fact DWR coating, but DWR coatings rub off very quick. So when people say waterproof, water resistant, if it's just a DWR proofing, it won't last long. Ultra Shell has a proofing, a permanent proofing on the underside. It's inside the side that's touching the down. And it's a PU coating sprayed on and it's permanent. It doesn't come off. And that gives it a high level of waterproofing um, and breathability. I term it water resistant fabric. Why do I do that? It's because of the application here. It isn't something you could use in heavy rain just like this. Because although the fabric is waterproof, the the construction and all the sewing all the stitch lines of the bag would eventually allow water to penetrate so it's not fully waterproof for, for using in a heavy downpour it won't put up with it but for putting up with damp snow drizzle and of course condensation inside a tent uh, it, waterproof fabrics really give you the advantage and it protects the down for a long time so it's made in water resistant fabric, uh, filled with down, uh, MX fabric on the inside, MX is a downproof fabric, uh, lightweight, downproof, windproof and very tough, it's really good. So if you're getting inside of there with your, with your shoes on or something, uh, it'll deal with it quite well. It's got a tear strength very similar to a parachute actually, so it's a really robust fabric. That's why I've used it on the inside here, like it. Okay, so that's the Alpine bag. What can you do with it? Well, you can bivvy with it, of course, that's the point of it. And if you are carrying it in case of a bivvy, that's, what, that's the perfect use. You could bivvy down to about minus 10 with that. 
okay now if you're going to use it for camping I, I've used it for camping sometimes in the mountains I just have a down jacket for the top and a half bag for the lower and a tent and I really enjoy camping with it because it's such a tiny piece of kit if you're going to camp with it the typical operating temperature for camping is three degrees so for UK summers in the mountains really perfect no problem at all so three degrees now there is another use it's snowing I'm not bothered about the gear because this water resistant fabric will keep the down dry same on the jacket I'm wearing ultra shell so it won't it, the, the, the down won't get damp even though it's sort of snowing sleety snow um, right where was I I was going to tell you yeah the other use for the bag is of course uh, as a half bag uh, sorry as a half bag inside the sleeping bag you've already taken so if you wanted to boost if you wanted to make a sleep system in other words you've got your down sleeping bag and you want to increase the warmth of that bag you could wear a down top a bit like this and a half bag inside and boost the warmth now the the increased warmth of your sleeping bag with a half bag is 15 degrees C it gives it 15 degrees C 15 degrees centigrade added warmth so if your down jacket is of the same added warmth you're boosting your sleeping bag by another 15 degrees C. Why would you do that? Well, you do that because then you can make it warmer or you are taking a much, much lighter, lighter sleeping bag. So there's three temperatures on a half bag which are worth understanding. The bivvy temperature, the sleeping bag sleep temperature, if you were gonna use it instead of a bag, and the added temperature if you used it inside a sleeping bag. So I'll run through them again. Bivvying down to about minus 10 by that I mean you'll survive the night you'll be relatively comfortable it might not be warm enough to give you deep sleep but you'll get through you'll be waiting for dawn and ready to get climbing again but down to about minus 10 the Alpine Ultra is good uh, camping if you're using it purely as a camping uh, for for sleeping in with a down jacket that's good to about three degrees plus three degrees centigrade okay and if you're going to use it to boost the warmth if it's the lower half of your sleep system inside a sleeping bag then it gives you an added 15 degrees lift to the sleeping bag that you're using so really super piece of kit right now there is a so normally it's made in ultra shell and you saw it packs down really really tiny we also offer to make it in another version and that's with a shell a waterproof shell you remember I was saying you couldn't use that half bag on its own in rain or in really really horrible wet conditions but if we put a, a, a waterproof shell over the top of it you can this one has this is an Alpine Ultra again but it's got a waterproof shell it's taped it's permanently waterproof and the water can't get through because the side seams on the top there are taped so it's a little bit like a bivy bag over the top but it is stitched in it's permanent I can't take it off it's attached the bags actually attached inside it so it's a half bag with a waterproofed shell this shell is dry LX it's very it's it's a laminated uh, fabric is a, a waterproof laminate so it's waterproof breathable laminate and it's taped so water can't get in you'll see there's very few stitch lines on it there's no seams there sorry there's no stitch lines across the top the only piece we've got on is the reflect on the top and that's taped behind it but all the other seams which are just round the foot piece and down the sides they're taped and it's very very light piece of kit makes it very handy so if you were going to camp out if you're going to sleep under a in a hovel under a uh, in a little cave under a boulder or you were going to use a tarp and th there was possibility that the tarp would protect you but if rain was driving in on the side uh, water could get in then a fully waterproofed sleeping bag uh, half bag sorry a fully waterproofed half bag is a handy piece of kit it's it's sleeting now actually it's flipping cold but this bag is fully protected and uh, water can't get in there of course water can get in the top so you've got to 
work with it. It cinches down around your waist again, so it's a half bag, and it fully encloses, uh, fully encloses uh, the lower half of your body. So really nice piece of kit, very easy to carry. You know, it doesn't take up a lot of space in a rucksack, and if you do need it, it's there. All right, cheers.